Treatment for Kidney Failure in Children Kidney failure in children is similar to that in adults, which is a progressive course of kidney disease over time and with impaired renal function, less than 15%. On top of that, the symptoms from the accumulation of waste and excess water in their bodies. Progressive renal failure to end-stage renal disease ESRD, will require treatment with a kidney transplant or dialysis treatment. In most cases, kidney failure in children is treated with a kidney transplant. Some children receive a kidney transplant before their kidneys fail completely. At the same time, many children begin dialysis to stay healthy until kidney transplantation. Sometimes a kidney transplant may stop working and your child may need dialysis. Above all, transplants stop without proper kidney or if the child has infectious or active kidney disease that has progressed rapidly. How to treat kidney failure in children. Specifically, there are two ways to treat kidney failure in children, dialysis and kidney transplant. Meanwhile, dialysis has two types, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. It is a treatment for kidney failure in children, depending on the parent's choice and the child's condition. Hemodialysis to treat kidney failure in children. Hemodialysis uses special filters, dialysis machines, to remove excess waste and fluid from the blood. The dial is connected to a dialysis machine. When the body attaches to the filter, blood from the body flows through the tube into a dialysis machine to filter out waste and excess fluid. Then, the filtered blood flows through another tube back to the body. Above all, the hemodialysis machine monitors the process to keep blood moving at a safe pace. Hemodialysis helps control blood pressure and helps the body maintain a reasonable balance of important minerals, such as potassium, sodium, calcium and bicarbonate. It is a treatment for kidney failure in children, depending on the parent's choice and the child's condition. Treatment and Dialysis Schedule In particular, hemodialysis usually takes place in a dialysis center three times a week. However, a health care provider may recommend more frequent dialysis for smaller children. Each treatment usually lasts from three to five hours. During treatment, the child can do homework, read, write, sleep, talk, or watch TV. On top of that, some dialysis centers teach parents or guardians how to perform dialysis at home. On the other hand, home treatment allows for longer or more frequent dialysis, closer to replacing the stable job that healthy kidneys do. Daily home hemodialysis is done 5 to 7 days per week for 2 to 3 hours at a time. Also, another option is to perform hemodialysis at home 3 to 6 nights a week while the child sleeps. Though home hemodialysis allows more flexibility in scheduling and have better results, however, learning how to perform the procedure often takes three to eight weeks. What is needed for hemodialysis treatment? For hemodialysis, a surgeon creates an access to the bloodstream, a vascular access, several months before the first treatment. A surgeon create a vascular access at an outpatient center, or the child need to stay overnight in the hospital. When receiving hemodialysis treatments, a child may have problems with the vascular access, such as poor blood flow, infection, blockage from a blood clot. These problems keep treatments from working, and the child need to undergo more than one surgery for the access to work properly. Meanwhile, rapid changes in fluid and mineral balance during treatment cause problems other than hemodialysis treatments. As a result, muscle cramps and hypotension or sudden drop in blood pressure are two common side effects. Lowering blood pressure makes children feel weak, dizzy or nauseous. So, the doctor will treat these problems by adjusting the prescription of the dialysis solution and the rate at which blood flows through the dialysis machine. Most children need a few months to adjust dialysis. In particular, doctors often quickly and easily treat side effects, so parents or guardians should always report side effects to the doctor. Parents or guardians help children prevent many side effects by making sure they maintain a reasonable diet. At the same time, limit drinking water and taking all medicines as directed. Reading about nutrition for dialysis. At 247naturalhealthtricks.com. It is a treatment for kidney failure in children, depending on the parent's choice and the child's condition. Peritoneal dialysis to treat kidney failure in children. 
Peritoneal dialysis uses the lining of the abdominal cavity, the space in the body that holds organs such as the stomach, intestines, and liver, to filter the blood. The lining is peritoneum. A kind of salty water as dialysis solution is emptied from a plastic bag through a catheter, a thin, flexible tube, into the abdominal cavity. While it is inside, the dialysis solution soaks up wastes and extra fluid from the body. After a few hours, the used dialysis solution is drained into another bag, removing the wastes and extra fluid from the body. The fluid fills the stomach both day and night, so the filtering process never stops. The process of draining and refilling exchange takes about 30 minutes. It is a treatment for kidney failure in children, depending on the parent's choice and the child's condition. The process of peritoneal filtration. Before the start of peritoneal dialysis, the surgeon places the catheter into the baby's abdomen. Catheterization is an outpatient procedure, or the child needs to stay overnight in the hospital. The catheter tends to work better when the insertion site, or the exit site, has enough time to heal the wound usually from 10 to 20 days. In particular, the catheter have one or two cuffs that the abdominal tissue develops around to protect it in place. Types of peritoneal dialysis. Two types of peritoneal filters are available for children. Continuous Emergency Peritoneal Dialysis CAPD. CAPD does not require machines and is carried out in any clean, well-lit place. With CAPD, blood is always filtered. Dialysis solutions that stay in the abdomen for 4 to 6 hours or more between exchanges or downtime. Most children change dialysis solutions at least four times a day and sleep with solutions in the abdominal cavity at night. With CAPD, it is not necessary to wake up and perform dialysis tasks during the night. It is a treatment for kidney failure in children, depending on the parent's choice and the child's condition. Continuous Peritoneal Dialysis for Cycling CCP. The CCP uses a machine, like a cyclist, to fill and empty the stomach three to five times during the night when a child sleeps. In the morning, dialysis solutions will fill your stomach with a long pause throughout the day. However, an additional exchange will take place in the middle of the afternoon without bicyclists. To increase the amount of waste removed and to reduce the amount of fluid remaining in the body, both types of peritoneal dialysis usually stay at home, after a short training period. So, parents or guardians and children work with a dialysis nurse for one to two weeks. To learn how to manually exchange with CAPD without allowing bacteria to enter the catheter. Practitioners of the CCPD learn to prepare cameras, connect dialysis solutions and establish drains. Young children will need help with talking or setting up a cycle. Older children will do it themselves. It is a treatment for kidney failure in children, depending on the parent's choice and the child's condition. Important note for peritoneal dialysis in the treatment of kidney failure in children. The most common problem with peritoneal dialysis is the development of peritonitis, a serious peritoneal infection. This infection occurs when the drainage site is infected or if contamination occurs when the catheter is connected or disconnected to the vesicles of dialysis solution. So use antibacterial medicine antibiotics, to treat it. To prevent peritonitis, people performing peritoneal filtering tasks should wear surgical masks. Then follow the exact procedures and learn to identify the early signs of peritonitis, including Unusual color or cloud in the dialysis solution used. Nausea or vomiting. Fever. Redness or tenderness around the catheter site. A catheter has been expelled from the body. Report to the child care provider immediately these signs, so that treatment begins promptly. It is a treatment for kidney failure in children, depending on the parent's choice and the child's condition. Kidney transplant to treat kidney failure in children. Kidney transplant is surgery to place a healthy kidney from someone who has just died or a living donor, usually a family member, into a person's body to take over the job of the failing kidney. Once kidney damage due to chronic kidney disease CKD, poor kidney function, so a transplant is the closest thing to treat. In particular, children with a transplant will need to take medications every day to prevent their body from rejecting the new kidney. At the same time, check regularly to make sure your new kidneys adapt and function properly. 
Above all, to receive a donor kidney, a child first undergoes a thorough medical evaluation at a transplant center. It is a treatment for kidney failure in children, depending on the parent's choice and the child's condition. Sponsor Living About half of all kidney transplants in children are from living donors, usually parents, family members or family friends. Certainly, potential donors will have to check for appropriate factors and to ensure that kidney donation will not endanger their health. In particular, a kidney from a living donor is often more beneficial than a kidney from a deceased donor. Moreover, kidneys from parents are more likely to be a fitting tissue than kidneys from a person unrelated to the child. Living donation allows for better preparation. For example, schedule fast and get started right away. The kidneys do not have to expand from one place to another, so it may be in a better condition. Implantation Priority A transplant is when a child receives a donated kidney before dialysis is needed. Several studies indicate that prior transplantation reduces the chances of the body rejecting new kidneys. At the same time, increases the chance of new kidney activity over the long term. Other studies show little or no advantage for pre-transplant implants. However, some families feel that dialysis is an advantage. The kidney donor is dead. When a medical evaluation shows that the child is not in a position to prevent a successful transplant. From there, the transplant coordinator will put the child on a waiting list. The transplant coordinator registers people who need a deceased organ donor. On the other hand, exports a centralized computer network that links all regional organ procurement organizations. A child may be registered with multiple transplant centers. Most centers require separate medical assessments. The amount of time a child has to wait for a transplant depends on many things. However, between children and donors must match. A child position on the list depends on the following. The type of tissue that tests your blood for six types of antigens, or proteins, makes each person different. What kind of tissue does the transplant surgeon have, how many antigens the donor shares with the recipient. Blood group. Time on waiting list. The age you wait. Antibody levels in the blood, showing how well the immune system works, a factor that increase the risk of transplant rejection. The immune system usually protects people from infections by identifying and destroying potentially harmful bacteria, viruses and foreign substances. When kidneys are available, the center will generate a ranking list of compatible recipients. The transplant center keeps each child updated with contact information and health status. So the child will transplant right away when the kidneys are available. Take care of your baby's health, and take care of your family's health with a free two-month trial product. Reverse chronic kidney disease and improve kidney function naturally. Link in description. Complications occurring for children with kidney transplantation in the treatment of kidney failure in children. Children with kidney transplants are at risk for complications such as organ transplant rejection, infection and some cancers. In addition, they need treatment to increase their growth rate. Rejection of organs. The body's immune system can attack transplanted organs. It was a denial. Children with kidney transplantation need immunosuppressant medication. To prevent the body from making antibodies and rejecting the kidneys. Many children have a hard time following treatment. Healthcare providers use the term non-compliance to describe failure. Or refuse to take the medication as directed or as directed by your healthcare provider. Adhere to a combination of health education, motivation techniques and behavioral skills methods. Strategies should be tailored for each child and family. Healthcare providers should. Teach children about status and treatment regimes. Talk to your child to learn about their wishes, beliefs and emotions to find ways to improve their motivation. Suggest ways to remember to take your medication, such as a calendar, pill box, or text message reminders. The infection. Immunosuppressants make children more susceptible to infections and also prevent the body from responding to the vaccine. Although children should get the standard vaccine as well as the flu and pneumonia vaccine before transplantation. However, they may have to wait a few months after transplant before getting more vaccine. Children taking immunosuppressant drugs should not get vaccines that contain live viruses, such as 
Measles, mumps and rubella vaccine MMR. Chickenpox or chickenpox vaccine. Polio vaccine. Preventing infection is important to keep children healthy after transplantation. To help prevent infection, parents or guardians should have their children. Wash your hands often. Avoid contact with people who are sick. Report any signs or symptoms to the healthcare team immediately. Avoid raw or undercooked meat. Wear gloves when gardening or working outdoors. Avoid taking care of pets. Cancer. For a long time, children taking immunosuppressant drugs may develop some forms of cancer. Cancer most often develops in the skin or lymphocytes, part of the body's immune system. The incidence of cancer in pediatric transplant recipients is lower than in adults, with a risk of about 17% within 25 years of transplant. Growth rate. Depending on how old they are at the time of transplant, how well the kidneys are transplanted and on medication. Children may grow after a transplant, although they are usually shorter than average height. Children under 4 years of age have the best growth rate after transplantation. However, high-dose immunosuppressants can slow the growth and development of children after transplantation. Reducing the dose of immunosuppressant drugs and giving the child's growth hormone may improve growth. What are the challenges of kidney failure in children and their families? The challenges of kidney failure for children include physical effects from the loss of kidney function and emotional effects due to their illness. Physical effects of kidney failure can include extreme fatigue, growth failure, nerve damage, weak bones, sleep problems. The buildup of wastes in the body slow down nerve and brain function, resulting in trouble concentrating. At the same time, slow language and slow development of motor skills often cause children to fall behind in school. Emotional effects of kidney failure include depression and feelings of isolation. In particular, it is a problem for children, who place great importance on making friends and fitting in. Children with kidney failure need individualized plans to help them become active, productive, well-adjusted adults. The challenges for families caring for a child with kidney failure include understanding treatment options. Also, scheduling and performing dialysis, and learning how to keep the child as healthy as possible. Family members should feel comfortable talking to any member of their child's health care team about their concerns and questions. Working closely with the health care team can make life easier for children with kidney failure and for their families. Free bonuses kidney disease. Solve problems with natural products and kidney care with rewards with specific program instructions. Link in description. Thank for watching. Do not forget like, share and subscribe to watch new videos. Wish you and your family peace.